in Alfredo have this thing that every time we see a new Whole Foods, we just have to go in and walk around. I don't know. It's just like it's, it's like a, it's like my Disney World. Like to be honest, <laughs> but we're gonna go check out this new one that is here in downtown Miami. I don't know. I think it's brick. I don't know where we are, but we've never been here, so we're I'm excited. We're in Oh, that's I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have my lemon water now and then around 11, 12 p.m. I'm gonna have my breakfast, which is I think it'll be just some fruits, uh, which I'm gonna show you, and I need to work out. I was gonna make falafel yesterday, but I really wanted to vlog it and share the recipe with you, so I didn't do it, I waited until today. Um, just grabbing my little thing. Today I'm wearing this set from Tropicom. I absolutely love this, so I had to keep one myself. It's just so cozy. I'm gonna finish setting up here just so it's a lot more organized and you don't see all of this. So I'll be right back. You're gonna need parsley, cilantro, some garlic, lemon, cumin, coriander, chickpeas, and chickpea flour. Also, you're gonna need red onions. I use shallots for this recipe just because of my sibyl. But go ahead and use a red onion if you'd like. So here I have my parsley, cilantro, and shallots. I want to do a big batch, about 16 falafel balls. So I'm going to use two cans of chickpeas. Now when you have everything blended, you're going to add cumin, coriander, lemon, a bit of olive oil, and some salt. Now just add a little bit of chickpea flour. The recipe I follow says to chill the batter, but I just put it right after doing it. So next is just making the falafel balls. I do my workout with Tasha Franks. I go to her YouTube channel or her Instagram. I usually I've been ooh, I usually do her Instagram IGTV workouts, but then I figured that I could just go to her YouTube channel. I usually pick and choose the ones I want to do. I always do arms, butts, and ab. I am gonna do the 10 minute arm. wash for all my veggies and fruits and just spray it and then you're supposed to let them soak in water you can feel like the wax on the apples and I hate feeling that that's not good so been using a lot of Prima products lately they sent over a bunch of products for me to try and honestly I have been loving them so much I'm so happy to have partnered with them this skin therapy ultra rich body butter I've been using it because my skin is like really dry at the moment I don't know why um, but it's like this thick consistency is so nice the weather is really nice today so I'm gonna go for a walk nice and moisturized Use my code Judith L. Rios for 20% off your first order. Okay. And 
Uh, come on, inside. Inside. On. I never leave them outside just because I don't want them to. And I have to block this because Gordo opens the door. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. Gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So, so they are done. So I'm gonna eat these now with tahini sauce and some spicy sauce. I'm gonna show you right now. So I mix these two things and it's the best thing ever. They're both from Whole Foods, tahini sauce and my favorite hot sauce. So I made a falafel wrap. I just put the falafel obviously, lettuce, tahini, I'm gonna put some hot sauce and this is a chickpea tortilla which is this one I don't think I ever shared my bedroom and how it turned out so I'm just gonna share it really fast this rug is from overstock and I got the bed skirt from Target so I wanted it to look a little bit more kind of like homey um, put a rug in here and yeah that is how my room looks now. I'm gonna totally expose you, babe. So I did a little changing up in here as well. I am, uh, um, I have sold this. Um, somebody's gonna come and pick it up. I'm not gonna have this anymore. I'm gonna put an olive tree. I am selling this mirror as well. And I'm gonna put like a nice wooden rectangular one, huge one from William Sonoma. And that's kind of like the changes up so far. Now I'm going to show you how it is that I kind of do like my beach waves, my curls. So this is my hair without anything. It's dry. I washed my hair yesterday. Questions on YouTube and on Instagram on how I do my hair and how I colored it and what products I use and all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to take this moment. I'm going to answer all these questions. First off, the way that I colored my hair, I went to my favorite beauty salon. Um, they are called LMG Beauty Factory. And I asked the girl to just do something different. The first time she said, okay, I'm gonna do some brown highlights on your hair. On the second session, she said she did a touch up on my hair, like, you know, cause it was already coming out. So she went up on my roots again. And I think that she made it, she did make it lighter. So it was brown at first and then she made it kind of more like blondish kind of, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's how my hair looks now. And this is my hair without anything on. It has nothing on. The only thing that I put. Okay, so this is the only thing that I use for my hair. Um, as you can see, it's like only a little bit. It's Gisuo Honey Infused Hair Oil. I just love how it leaves my hair. So I use this right out of the shower with wet hair and I let it dry with it. I do one to two drops. I put it on my tips and then I just kind of like put it here on like the front and stuff like that. So that's how I put this with wet hair. So I looked up a sulfate-free shampoos and the one that caught my eye that I really liked was a cure So this is the shampoo that I've been using since January since like March um, I love this shampoo at first. I do remember thinking that this wasn't working that it wasn't like It's you feel like it doesn't work basically but the longer you use it, your hair gets healthier, basically. I don't only buy the yellow one. I buy all of them just to try them out. They all work really nice. 
Um, I'm right now I'm currently using the one that says volume. I stocked up on these on Whole Foods because they were on sale for like three dollars each bottle. So I wait until they go on sale and I buy them because they can be pricey. But yeah, just wait for them on sale. Whole Foods or Target. But yeah, that's I buy them at Whole Foods. So I really don't stress it. Honestly, I don't take more than 10 minutes for my hair. Um so I just part it on the side. It's very simple. I believe everybody does it like this. I'm not sure, but I use this wand, this thick. I do not know the thickness of this wand, but it is the pretty thick one. Like it's pretty thick. And I use the brand Newbie. So I've had this wand for like ever. Um, so what I do is I start from the back and you know just like a nice piece of chunk and i wrap it away from my face and i always leave the tip out and not all the way up so i leave the tip straight and i just wave the middle part of my hair sometimes i do this i just like go up and down i do 10 seconds i actually count i'm like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then i just let it go so this is the result so i just push that back left side of my hair this is the result I usually don't separate them I just like I don't brush it or anything I just leave it like that and then just go to the other one and it's the same exact process for the other side my hair goes wavy like that to the side um, and sometimes you have like some little hairs that just are not straight I don't use an ironer I just go like I just pull up my hair and I go like this with the curler I already did this side but I'm gonna do a little bit more and there so it's kind of like but it's not like it doesn't look like you went ahead and just did that to your hair because I don't like that either I like it to look as natural as possible and that is it that is how I curl my hair and I kind of just like go like this with it to separate them a little bit but not entirely not like how it would look with you were to if you were to pass like a brush it would lose this effect it would kind of look more um luscious i guess is the word i don't know but yeah i like it to kind of look like that and that is it i don't use any products after i do my hair what i will use sometimes if my hair um, is a little bit frizzy or not cooperating with me i will use the gizuo oil again and i'll just um get one little drop that's it and i'll put it around the hair it'll just make it look shinier and smoother um it'll take away frizziness a little bit and yeah but today is a good hair day 
so I don't have to worry about putting anything. So yeah, that is how I curl my hair. For the past um, two weeks, I've been having an apple every single morning um, because I've read somewhere that apples are really good for the digestive system and for bloating and all of that. So I've been having this specific apple is red delicious apple um i buy it at whole foods organic i'm gonna have this and then i'll probably have like a smoothie or something else so this is today's lunch some quinoa with sweet potato chickpeas avocado and then i just put on top this hot sauce this habanero hot sauce everything was already cooked and packed in the fridge it makes my meals so much easier to just have cooked sweet potato chickpeas and quinoa everything was packed in the fridge and very easy lunch healthy plant-based and yeah i'm gonna eat this now